we are very happy that we have a chance and opportunity to go and uh, present our football in Nepal, which is a great footballing state in India. Uh, this part of our action is also connected to the football promotion we're going to spread all around uh, cities and states in India. Uh, we hope that this action will push forward the government, uh, state government also to invest more in infrastructure. So whenever next time the national team is going there, there will be a good infrastructure in regards to the dressing rooms, training pitches and the rest of the facilities which are needed for the national team when we go there. You know. But anyway, we are very happy and glad to go to Impal. We expect a big crowd, huge crowd and a great support for the national team. First, uh, congratulations to both teams. Congratulations to Mumbai also. Congratulations to everyone qualifying for the playoffs. Uh, we had some very exciting games in the semi-finals and yesterday in the final also with the extra time, with the penalties. And this is what is beautiful about football. You know, people were enjoying the football games. At the end, some were disappointed, some were very happy. Now we need to cope with all these things. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, all these players are mentally and physically exhausted, empty, as we say. So now we need to uh, overcome this problem. For us always the most important thing was the health of the players, because these are friendly games. And apart from that, these games should serve the purpose we also need to take good care of the players because clubs are the owners of the players and we shouldn't be irresponsible uh, putting overweight on their young shoulders and sending them back to the clubs with certain injuries. We need to look wider picture. We cannot only look for the FIFA windows which we have in front of us in June, September, October and November. Months which are in front of us are very important for what we're going to achieve, what we're going to do at the Asian Cup in January in Qatar. You know. and if you look at the history, I speak about first game which expect us. It's against Myanmar. In the last five encounters, we never uh, uh, won a game with a greater difference. Uh, and we need to ask the questions there, you know, never mind the rankings, which I always say, it's about the mentality, it's about the mindset, it's about focus, discipline, and working hard against opponents who are lower ranked, who play all 10 players behind the ball, defending in big numbers with the tight lines, and you need to find a way at early stages of the game to open the score. Otherwise, as the minutes pass by, uh, your team is becoming more and more nervous, irritated with uh, numbers in, in defending lines and uh, things are not going well. So we need to find a way and freshness and quality to disturb those uh, blocks which me and Mar will put in front of us there to open the score at least in the first half somehow and to make our life easier. About Kyrgyzstan, uh, very organized side, a very serious side, you know. I watched the game which they played against Russia. They lost to one, but hey, they had very, uh, very good chances throughout the game. They were very good in transition uh, both ways, and uh, we're going to have a really good challenge playing against Kyrgyzstan. I want to see what is the difference in capacities about the players involved in the state competitions and uh, highly competitions from, from ISL competition. You know. uh, on average we know what is the difference. Anyway, the, the best players from my league were always signed by ISL clubs, it's nothing new. So uh, the normal and the re regular uh, uh, habit is to <coughs> have the best players in the best league you have, you know, so for coach it's easy decision just to monitor the best league and choose the players from there, but we need to be well aware that with such size of the country we have here, with still uh, various competition uh, uh, which are allowing us to find certain players with ability in lower 
competitions in our country, then we need to consider that there might be few players who might compete for the 